Good morning, modern setters. We got about a quarter of an inch of rain last night and this morning. You ready for the big reveal? Whoa, look at that. Doesn't that look so different now? Man, I'm loving it. Wonder what the loggers think of me talking to a camera. Because I'm sure they've seen me. And I've kind of wondered that a little bit. But you know what? I like being weird. And I'm going to embrace it. Yes. Good morning, girls. How's that grass? You sleep good? Bet you they can't contain themselves with all this excitement either. <laughs> they put a rock in their brain bucket. What are they thinking? <laughs> Rufus is trying to steal the meat bird's feed. <sighs> I got a text from the boss today. I gotta go to work. <sighs> hopefully we can catch some good footage before we take off for work this morning. And then hopefully when we come back, oh, we need stuff to get on camera too. <sighs> it's just so exciting. Just pumped for this all to happen. Hopefully the excavator shows up this morning, get it stumped, and then we can get it turned into pasture. So the one downfall about the $30 chicken tractor is the rain likes to sit there. So we gotta clean it off with a bucket. Goes the skitter. They are all done cutting the trees down. Now they just need to haul them up, get them chipped, and load it on trucks.
Guess what? White tree I'm standing on. Well, I hate to do it, but I guess I better get ready for work today. We'll be back here in a jiffy. Right before you know, it'll be boom, just like that, we'll be back. Now, seriously, I need to go to work. If they just showed up, well, then. I go to work for real this time. See you in a few. There go some of my logs through town. Perfect timing. See ya. Well, that was definitely funny that we caught my logs going to the center of town like that, coming home from work. Let's see what we see now. Jam at Lumna Acres. Chip trailer and a log truck. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? Well, while I have a chance, I'm using my Kubota as my skidder and I'm bringing over some down trees that we've had on the other parts of the property. I might as well let them chip it up for me instead of me having to burn it. It's been dead and it ain't no good. So I'll let them take care of it. You saw in the video, the excavator came in this morning right before I left for work. Man. And then on my way home, I met it going down the road. They needed it, so they pulled it back out. So it'll have to come back. Fingers crossed, it comes back soon to start clearing. I was talking to the equipment operators this afternoon when they stopped for the day. And I asked them how many loads went out today. And they said there were six loads of chips that went out and four loads of wood, one hardwood, and three loads of pine logs. So that's 10 today. Yesterday, five loads of chips went out. The day before that, one load of chips went out. So what's that, 12 loads of chips, and four, so three loads of pine logs, and one load of hardwood. And they said they got at least three more loads of chips tomorrow. And on the logs, I'm not sure how many more loads. We'll have to wait and see and find out tomorrow. These chickens are getting pretty courageous. You got an entourage. Huh? You got an entourage. <laughs> See, now we got a view of the mountains. No, but we can still come over here and have a campfire. We're gonna come all the way over here. 
They can. Yeah, we'll see some nice sunsets. They're gonna go down right there. Pluto was barking in the house. We looked out the window. We had somebody out in the new field. And I went out and I talked to him and he was just looking around. He said, believe it or not, he used to hay out here when he was a kid. This used to be a hay field and there was two barns out here. I asked him how long ago and he said about 45 years ago. And we had it, we counted one of the rings of the trees the other day. And it was 48 years old. 48 years well, old. 45 rings, but someone said to add, three. add to it. Add, add three it. years. So between 45 and 48 years ago, this was an old hay field with barns. And I was told before that it was a potato field. So that is awesome. Pumps us up to be able to bring an old field back to life. I am excited. They'll be here tomorrow to finish up and bring back the excavator soon, I hope. And then we'll be able to get some grass seeds planted. All right, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at... From the Acres, a guide to one homesteading such as not seen freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.